Welcome to Wii Video tutorial number one. Wii Video is a web-based video editor. It allows you to edit and create videos anywhere you have an internet connection. For our students, we'll be logging in through our student page. At the bottom of our core tools, you can click on the Wii Video link. And then we want to sign in with Google. For students, you will be using your first three, first three, last three at fairview.k12.oh.us email address, and your password will just be your first three, first three, last three. If you're already signed into Google Apps, it will automatically sign you in. When you first go into WeVideo, you simply press Create New Video to start your first video. There are different versions. Storyboard is your basic, timeline, and timeline advanced. I recommend timeline simple for students. I feel like most of our students will be able to handle it, and it gives us a lot of different options. Storyboard is nice for your basic introductory video editor, but I think most of our students will be able to handle timeline simple. So if you click on timeline simple, I also like to go full screen when I'm in video editor so I can see the multiple layers over here on the bottom. This first layer you can put different text. The second layer is where you put your video or pictures. The third layer is where you can add music. And the fourth layer is where you can add your voice. First thing I always recommend students doing is where it says untitled video. Come in and title your video here. Next thing, we're going to have to start adding some pictures in. Now when I click on the picture icon, you can see I already have several pictures that I have loaded. But I've uploaded these media files already. So for students, more than likely, they're probably going to be searching for images on the internet. So if they open up a new tab, and let's say they're doing a Wii video on frogs. We'll search for frogs and then we'll click on images. So I'll click on this picture right here. I want to view the image by itself and then I'm going to press control click or right click to save the image as. I'm going to put it in my downloads file and I'm also going to remember the name Poison Dart Frog. Press save. See that it's saving. I'm going to go back to my Wii Video tab and where it says upload media I'm going to upload this media. Now I have the option of importing from the web so if I had pictures saved in Google Drive or Picasa or some other place I could but this picture I saved in my downloads file so I'm going to browse my computer files and it's in my downloads and sure enough there's my download of the poison dart frog I'll double click on it it's uploading you can see it's spinning here to let me know that it's actually uploading on Wii Video server Now it says it's done. I'm going to come back and click on Timeline. It looks like there's an error of some type. But let's say, let's pretend that the file did load correctly. All I would have to do is click, drag, drop into that layer where I wanted to start my video. And as you can see, it is showing up in the video portion. So if I wanted to add more, pictures, click, drag, drop right next to it. Same thing with this third picture of a frog. And finally I'll put a fourth picture in. If I want to change the length of how long the picture shows, simply right now you can see it's five seconds long. I'll continue to drag it. Right now it's eight seconds long. I'll go to the second picture and do the same thing with that one. drag this back and when I click play I'll be able to see the entire video of what I have so far. So it transitions to the next picture and we'll go on to the third and fourth one. Stay tuned to the next tutorials I will be showing you how you can add music, voice, text, transitions and finally 
how to publish your Wii video.